There's a lot going around about some triune god Some kind of three-headed monster that just can't be described Hi, this is Approved of God coming to you once again to talk about the God of the Bible. The Bible clearly teaches that Jesus Christ is the express image of God's person. What does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean that God is three persons. And it doesn't mean that Jesus Christ is a second divine person, a God son, a pre-existent God person. No. When the Bible says that Jesus is the express image of God's person, it means exactly that. God expressed himself. He did it in the Old Testament. Uh, God expressed himself through theophanies, through the, the, the cloud during the day and the, the, the fire by night, and uh, as the angel of the Lord, as the, the Bible calls the Memra, the Word of God. This is the way God expressed Himself, through His presence, His Holy Spirit manifesting, His glory coming upon the children of Israel, and the, the priests of the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit coming upon them in, in, the, in the tabernacle, where they could not even stand. They couldn't even stand to minister because of the glory of God. This is all an expression or expressions of how God uh, wants to relate to us. So Jesus Christ is the express image of God's person. In another place, it says that He is the image of the invisible God. So this is exactly what the Bible says. It's exactly what the Bible means. That Jesus Christ is an expression of God. And, and so we cannot go with persons. We cannot go with uh, even distinctions. Because if Jesus is the express image of God's person, how can he be distinct? He has to be exactly the same as God. So I'm coming here just to, you know, fine tune for those of you who are struggling to let go of the Trinity uh, pagan doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church and really the the pagan doctrine coming all the way back from Babylon and Of course, it was Philo of Alexandria who brought the teaching of, of Babylon or the of the Kabbalah the three into the church with his writings that were talking about uh, or he, he was allegorizing the scriptures so uh, the the Antinicene fathers took up his writings and they formulated a trinity from that. And this is what we've had for so many years. But it's now time to stop that. God does not want us believing in a trinity, especially when His Word is saying that Jesus Christ is the express image of His person. I pray God will open your eyes and that you will understand that let's say what the Bible says and not what philosophers of the second, third, fourth centuries were saying. Let us say what the Bible says, and we will be biblical Christians. It's not a heresy uh, to not believe in the Trinity. No, it is being biblical. It is standing on God's Word. The Roman Catholic Church labeled everyone a heretic who doesn't believe uh, in the Trinity. But they also label everyone a heretic who doesn't believe in the Mother of God and who doesn't pray and worship the Mother of God. They also uh, declare everyone a heretic who is, does not belong to the Catholic Church. Uh, uh, there's so many things wrong with this, but somehow people are blind to this understanding that no, no, believing in one God and believing that Jesus Christ is the express image of God's glory is not a heresy. It is strong biblical truth. 